Hey, all you YouTube modelers out there, how we doing today? This Butch with BK Model Cars coming at you. Uh, we're going to call this one a little bit of nail polish. Been talking to a few guys. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to try and mention names or channels. But, uh, if you saw a video of a little red airplane out there done in nail polish, there were a lot of questions brought up. And this is what I know. Um, I use a lot of nail polishes. I love the colors. There's just all sorts of colors. Uh... I mean, you can blood red, if you will. Uh, the metallics are you can you can see it there. The pearl essence are great. The flakes are great. If you want flakes, you can do flakes. Um, I have also got all my. My colors up here that uh, now I am on a limited income. The best gun that I have is this Iwata Neo. It puts out a good spray, a nice atomized spray i use it for clears and that's that's about all i use it for <coughs> my next one is and somebody had mentioned it a ten dollar harbor freight gun now it is it puts out a good spray uh it says central pneumatic but the only problem I have with it is the way that the cup fits. Your cup fits underneath and it's, you got to watch what you're doing. So I will use uh, solid colors. I use that one for my solid colors. Now, I have two other guns, which were my, let's call them original guns, and they are both $10 Harbor Freight spray guns, Central Pneumatics. <sighs> I learned how to use them and learned how to get a pretty good spray. Yeah, it wasn't fantastic. It wasn't what you would call professional but it was pretty good and that's with my paints with my clears the black one i used to do all my colors with the gray one i did the uh clears with now when i go a big metallic i bought this central new i was trying to find something to do Wild flakes, them old gasser big flakes, bass boat thumbnail flakes, you know. So this came with multiple cups. <laughs> well, you don't want to leave anything sit in them liquid for too long. They're soft plastic and they won't take lacquer thinner. So, yeah. But it, it clips on. It just clips on oh boy let's see if i can do this we're gonna put you guys between my knees and then we're gonna take this and kind of show you that that sucker just clips right on like that now that's that's it and i took and i drilled out the nozzle so that metallic metal flake would come out of it. And that's how I do that one. Uh, 
it will spray the big metal flakes like this. And, and those comparatively are quite large. So that's that's what I've done there. Now this this is paint with a clear coat. And I don't do a lot of sanding and polishing and, and I watch Don Yost. I get tips. And what he says about taking her right down to the twelve thousand from what I see in my cars, it works. Do I do that all the time? No. No. Um, if, if you're on something like that, that is nail polish with... Uh, I use Turtle Wax Speed Compound. It takes out the small scratches. And, you know, there's a lot of you out there that use the novice and and uh, for seven bucks for this and how long it lasts me. It fits my budget a lot better than anything else. And it does a pretty dang good job. It it polishes up and this one, this one also nail polish with just a quick rub um yeah I mean the nail polish does great yeah, there's enamel there's lacquer there's gel which gel unless you have an UV light I've not figured out how to uh thin it but it needs a UV light to set up hard. So, um, now, this one here, I put my first coat of clear on, and I got too heavy. And if you can see, right there along the top of the fender, center of the hood, she wrinkled. It, one too many passes down that corner on my clear, which I use Rust-Oleum Clear. Have forever. And it works. It's not the greatest, but it works. That's, that's a Rust-Oleum Clear. Um, this one is not, this one has just got one coat on it. There's my fisheye problem that I was having. I think I figured out what I was doing there. But that's, that's one coat of clear and that's not, not sanded, not polished anything. And the Rust-Oleum clear does pretty good. I don't have that much trouble with it drying. Uh, when, when I put clear over the, uh, nail polish, it turns out beautiful. So that's just figured I'd jump in and, uh, tell you what I know about nail polish. I like it. Now this one says, looks like gel. Nope, no, I don't. I may not be able to spray that one. Ah, it says gel-like polish. So, and whether it's an enamel or a lacquer, I don't know. It says gel-like shine, no UV needed. So I can thin that with my lacquer thinner and spray. Alrighty, I've rambled enough. That's it. Uh... You know, if all you can afford is a $10 Harbor Freight gun, go for it. I learned how to get mine pretty good. Uh, 
you will, and I do, eventually want to get better guns. My paint keeps getting better and better. And when I stepped up to the Iwata, it improved my clear. It lays down a lot flatter. So, there you have it. Uh, that red's nail polish. The orange is nail polish. Too bad that one's going back in the purple pond. A little heavy on the bottom of the fender there, too. Bummer. Alrighty, this is Butch with BK Model Cars. I'm gone.